Hey guys, this is Raj from Beast Games, and we hope everyone's doing great. Uh, last month, we wanted to, we actually planned to upgrade our website. And uh, in the past uh, four or five months, uh, since our old website was there, we used to get a lot of inquiries from people. You know, if we could, if they could get a test source code to work on. Uh, how, you know, many questions of you know, they w they just wanted to start with as less investment as possible in the app industry. And uh, most of the people asked us if you know they could work on a very simple code, uh, you know, just to try out things and test the waters. While redesigning our website, you know, this was one of our major uh, ideas that when we launch the new site, we'll probably <coughs> give a small, simple source code to our users so they can download it, play around it, uh, play around with it in Unity, and you know, hopefully, uh, maybe launch a couple of games. Uh, with the small source code and and do you know try to do uh, the best they can uh, in their initial launches. This is how uh, we came up with this uh, idea to give this particular source code. Now, the source code is a very simple game. It's a two D game. It's it was targeted when we made it last year. It was targeted towards kids. We'd made about five six uh, themes with it, probably more I think, and. Uh, we made some really really cool concepts for kids you know based on our market research and just with this simple code we were able to generate more than ten thousand dollars in profits now you look at the code you'll say you know this is this is something uh, very simple so as i keep on telling people that it's not about the simplicity or the complexity of the code what is going to make or break your app is always going to be the concept what are people searching for and if you understand that aspect of the market then any thing that you do with any simple code uh, whether it's very easy for kids or very complex only and only then will it work so I just wanted to show you this and this is the Santa Fly app that we are uh, actually launching again for this Christmas season and I just wanted to show you uh, how, how it plays now <coughs> let me just go back and show you the basic instructions the idea is to uh, tap on the Santa to make it jump and make it land on the platforms got a nice cool music to it as well, I'll just play it. So we have the time and the distance. Alright, so there goes my Santa. So it's an endless game. It's very easy. Of course, made for kids so that they have fun playing it. You can change it to any theme that you want. All the sprites are in there. Uh, make some cats, make some... Uh, unicorns go crazy with it so this one is made specifically for this Christmas season and uh, that's pretty much it I guess about the code it gets a little faster you know as and tougher as the user keeps on playing but again this is keeping in mind the complexity and the level of toughness is got to do is that you know is, is cons you know we, we made it considerably easy because it's for kids uh, of course so anyhow let me Let me just die, so of course. Well, one second. It's got a nice little audio to it as well. So anyhow, this is this is pretty much the gameplay, and uh, we want you guys to download this. And it's pretty easy to get this code. Uh, you just have to share the link below, join a newsletter, and you automatically get the download link for the with the files. So that's uh, that's pretty much it from our end. We hope you do well with this, and uh, get your feet wet. And of course, you know people who are already in this industry, you know, not the beginners, the advanced guys. Yeah, it's a simple source code, and of course, it's free. All right, thank you guys. Make sure you share the page. Make sure you let other developers know about us, and uh, wish you good luck. Cheers.